In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to go from television broadcast captions to web closed captions. And I'm going to use a product called ITV to be able to actually watch what's on TV right now. Now this TV connects to a USB device to a, just a regular antenna or a cable connection. Um, once it's connected, I can actually switch channels and I can actually watch the closed captions. So for example, if I switch to um, Fox, for example, I can actually watch the video and watch the closed captioning. I can also switch to um, a Spanish network, for example. Uh, and if there's captions available, then I will see them. If they're not available, then I won't see them. Like, for example, in this commercial, which is not closed captioned. Um, I can also switch to um, local channels. And then, let's say I, I finally decide to f watch something and I want to record it. So I'm going to hit record. And then I'm going to hit stop. And now that I have that, it's going to appear in my recorded programs um, here on my, on my desktop. And when I have those recorded programs, I have a couple of options I, I, can, I can do. Um, for example, um, I can actually uh, take a video, for example, here's the one I recorded, and I can convert it really easily to like a QuickTime format. I just press this button and it actually goes through and converts it to a QuickTime and then takes those captions I recorded and I can store those on my hard drive and it does it very fast very easily. You can even add it to my iTunes library for then uh, syncing uh, to my devices with captions. The other thing I can do is I can actually take the recorded video put it on my desktop and analyze it. You'll notice this is the actual recorded video. If I go to show package contents, inside of the package I have something called an MPEG file. If I copy that file to the desktop, I'll be able to actually retrieve it using a software called Mac Caption. So what Mac Caption does is I can actually go in and select 708 and DTV or CC1 and DTV and actually tell what kind of captions this MPEG file that was aired on live television has. I take the MPEG file, I drag and drop it, and here it is. I can actually decode the closed caption data. Once I have it decoded, I can very easily export it to another format whether it's a podcast, flash closed captions, YouTube closed captions, or Windows Media, I can quickly revamp that and export it. I can also make quick edits. For example, no web video starts at six hours. But with my caption, I can do an offset and make that time code start at zero, which is what web closed captioning usually starts at. Now let's check on that QuickTime we made. The QuickTime we made is going to be in my TV shows. And if I right click and go to Show and Finder, I'll notice that I have a QuickTime file here. If I open it with QuickTime, I can go to Properties and notice that it's added something called a closed caption track. This closed caption track can be viewed with QuickTime Player by simply going to View, Hide, or Show Closed Captions. When I press Play, you'll notice that the captions are there. They're not burned into the video, they're actual true closed captions that can be turned on and off. Now once I have this file, I can also convert it, either put it on my iPod or on the web, or if I wanted, I can decode it with my software, Mac Caption. So say I put this file here on the desktop. And now I'm going to go to File, Import, and select the appropriate import, which is QuickTime Podcast. And it's actually going to go in and 
look at that closed caption track and decode it. Here we go. I can edit it and do all sorts of things that I want to it. And that's how you can quickly go from television captions to the web closed captions.